everybody, my name's Julie. Um, I'm here at Thread the Needle in Solitude, Utah, where we've been skiing in um, a whole lot of jackets and pants um, to test them out. Um, and I'm here with Heather Hansman, who lives in Seattle. She's a writer for us. Um, and she skied with Patagonia today, and she's gonna tell us a little bit about this um, jacket she's wearing, which is the Departer jacket. Um, so Heather, tell me about today and skiing in this and just some thoughts on yeah, that. Yeah, um, I immediately just felt really good when I put this jacket on. Um, I guess it's modeled after one of their old heritage jackets. Um, so it's cut like the old jacket, but it's actually a little bit longer. It's more of a free ride fit. Um, I really like where it hits me. I'm kind of like a standard medium and the sleeves feel really good. The cut just felt really good. Um, and it's a super, it's a two layer gore, um, but it felt super, it was hot out today. And it was just like light, I didn't notice it. Um, I think this whole week, my biggest thing is that the best outdoor or the stuff I like the most is the stuff that I notice the least when I'm skiing. And this is just like pockets where you need them, but nothing extra, super simple, super clean. Looked good, it felt really good. That's awesome. So one of the best, coolest parts about that jacket is it's made out of um, Gore-Tex that's actually made from recycled post-consumer yeah. plastic. So like plastic water bottles are what Patagonia used to turn to make the thread to make this jacket. Yeah, that's a big push for those guys. They're doing this jacket and a couple others are totally 100% post-consumer plastic, which is really, really cool. Um, and the thing I talked to those guys about a lot today was that they want to make recycled jackets that don't feel like you wouldn't notice otherwise. So like when you're buying something on the shelf, that's the exact same as your other option. And they, like I wouldn't have noticed if they hadn't told me. Yeah, I mean the material is super soft and quiet yeah. and supple, which is like, really pretty amazing that they're all. able to do that out of recycled plastic bottles. Yeah. Um, it's also really cool because they introduced that recycled Gore-Tex last year to their top of the line Pals layer kit, but the price point on this is super reasonable. Yeah, it's a three hundred fifty dollar jacket for like a nice two layer Gore-Tex shell, which is a great, which looks good and feels good. Like it's great. I'd be psyched. I also love inside the liner the print on there. It just it has like. Patagonia doesn't usually run these super awesome fun yeah, prints. You can see that kind of like hanging to their yeah. liner. But. And it just it looks like such a classic timeless jacket. It's really fun. So who do you recommend this jacket for? Um, you know, I would be psyched to tour in this jacket because it's really light, it's breathable, but it's not bulky. Like I said, it's not loud. It rolls up really small. Um, it was hot out today. We didn't really get to test it in cold conditions, so I wouldn't be sure about that. But yeah, I think someone who's going to be mainly touring and then wants this heat around and not look like a dork. So me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Cool. Thanks, Heather. Thank you.